Uh, this uh, it's just a little fun session, really. Uh, it's, I've named it the Research Transformation Awards, and it's a, a little mini, uh, a little mini research uh, award ceremony. Uh, there's lots of them around, and I thought I'd do one myself. Uh, it's just a little bit of um, just sort of a description of the reason for, for doing this is that uh, um, it, I really wanted to celebrate the things that are having a transformative impact on market research. People like to, to not market research as not being innovative, but from my perspective, I think it's amazingly innovative, particularly at the moment. Um, and um, my motivations for doing this is that I read this great book in the summer called Where Good Ideas Come From. Um, and I thoroughly recommend everyone to go out and read it. And it really started me to think about how ideas are generated in market research and how they get proliferated and what's the forces for change for the distribution of ideas within the industry. Um, and I then started to think about some of the big ideas and themes that were knocking around market research. And I sort of began to start building a list of things that I thought were having a big impact on market research. And I opened up a couple of discussions on LinkedIn to discuss it. And I got lots of um, feedback and ideas from other people. And I thought, well, this would make a great topic for a little bit of a, an award ceremony. So I proposed it to the new MR, and they, and they went for it as an idea. So here is, here is my uh, Research Transformation Awards. Now, no award um, is, um, has any value really without the, the judges. And I think that judges make awards. And so I'd like to thank all my judges who took part in this voting process. Uh, I, I tried to pick out industry-leading innovators and thought leaders to make this judgment um, from a, as far afield across the industry as I could lay my hands uh, on, on people to participate. And um, I must say that everyone I asked to participate to eagerly help me out and respond to this survey that I sent out to everyone. So thank you very much indeed. The first set of categories of awards I want to uh, give out are for communication. Now, Communication and distribution of ideas is is really the lifeblood of any industry, of any economy, and I think that it, it, you know so often this is you know the, the effort and the contribution that particularly th things like the publishers of this world um, and what they contribute to our industry it goes understated. They're often dishing out awards themselves, but I think that uh, that publishers actually needed to receive some recognition for the impact that they have at distributing. Um, ideas around the industry. So I drew up a list of four publications that I personally felt had had a big impact on the way that I learned about market research. AdMap, having worked many years in advertising research, was my bible for gathering information about advertising research. Um, the International Journal of Market Research and Quirch Marketing Re Review are both long-standing distributors of ideas into the industry and the really I mean they are the, the cornerstone of, of you know many of the the changing bits of behavior in our industry I really do think that, that they are two very very important publications and then the, the fourth one is research magazine which is very much become the newspaper for the for the research industry not just in the UK but worldwide and I put those four up to the vote and the winner was research magazine I think uh, a little citation for Research Magazine, it really does have its finger on the pulse of market research. I think people like it because it covers not just the stories but also the people behind market research. And it's, it's successfully transitioned into the world online. It's got a lovely blend of online and offline content. You can read the magazine, you can see the same articles in on the online environment and the best of it translated into the, into the print environment. And, and uh, well done for Research Magazine for winning my first award. The next area I was interested in is looking at some of the more emerging forms of communication. And uh, some of these things here on this list are, you know, have just come out of nowhere in the last couple of years. And their influence on, on distributing ideas in market research is quite tremendous now. Um, Twitter, the blogging community, LinkedIn, um, some of the, the, the community groups like NextGen MR, uh, the festival of new MR itself all have emerged literally out of nothing in the last two or three years and are really driving forward ideas in this industry and I think this should be celebrated. Now the winner of this award goes to Twitter. Uh, 
I'm quite surprised to me actually that uh, everyone voted for this, but I, I mean, as soon as I agree, it, it really has emerged as the number one platform for transferring news and ideas across the market research industry over the last couple of years. I, I mean, I'd say I say I log into every day specifically to find out what's happening in market research. Um, I'm fueling that, the fueling the news and, and the art distribution idea within the industry is the blogging communities out there, and it's a sort of generic award for the blogging communities led by people like Lenny's um, Green Book blog. Blogs are really setting the trend and the ideas for the future in market research. The next sector is books, and this short list of books was drawn up from a discussion group I actually did on LinkedIn earlier on the year. Um, asked for some books to read on some holiday, and I got loads of um, nominations, and these are the ones that were the most popular in that list. Now, I haven't read all of these, um, but the ones I have read, I, I'd probably recommend. The only one I've, I recommend you not read is Psychology of Persuasion. I've read that just recently, and I thought it was a bit old hat. I don't think it's a bit, a bit dated now. But um, from this list, I would definitely recommend you go out and read Where Good Ideas Come From. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. But the judges picked out three winners, and they were... The winner was Information is Beautiful. Now, this book... Uh, really should be in every marketeer, uh, market researcher's uh, home. It's, it's the one and only market research book I've ever got my girlfriend to read. And it, it turned people's perceptions around about uh, our, our information-based industry. It makes it sexy. And uh, three cheers to Information is Beautiful for doing that. Um, the second prize goes to The Wisdom of the Crowds, uh, which is a brilliant book, actually. It's a lovely read. And it, it, what, what's nice about it, it validates what we all hope that, to believe collectively about um, market research, that, that we are smarter than we think when we band our thoughts together. I suspect that uh, John Kieran might actually be buried with that book in his, um, in his grave. Uh, the third prize goes to How We Decide, uh, which was uh, it's probably the most talked about book in the last year or two. Uh, it delves into the hidden decision-making processes of the brain, Really must read if you want to sort of catch up on on the you know you know the, the behavioral economics and the science of the sort of neuroscience stuff and I think there's a, some really good thoughts in there particularly the first half of that book. Now the next sector is for market research organisations. Now uh, I compiled this list of organisations from uh, the Green Book blog and it were the ones that was creating the most amount of buzz. They did a they did a, a track of, 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 of the chat that was going on about different types of market research organisations, and these were the ones that were picking up the most buzz. And the winner for this, I must say, by a clear mile, um, almost unanimously, it was SMR. And I think over the last few years, SMR has turned into a really, truly global market research organisation. It really does unite the world of market research. And I'm very pleased to have given this award because I, I got one from them earlier in the year. The next area I want to move on to is uh, research methodologies, and uh, the first section is looking at the technologies and te the new techniques and technologies that have, have, have emerged out of effectively the internet. Um, many of these have really transformed some of our approaches to market research, and so this is uh, sort of heralding and celebrating those particular, uh, particular areas. Now, this is a, a very short list from a, a quite a lot longer list of nominees that I could have included. So um, these are all the ones that really have sort of established themselves, I suppose. Uh, implicit association research, very interesting method of uh, working out, you know, some sort of neural thinking processes, eye tracking, Click testing, which is the sort of like online version of that. Online dull testing, which is sort of measuring of a response to sort of watching advertising on television and so on. Like. Virtual shopping, very established approach, and, and facial emotion recognition, which is a sort of the new kid on the block out, out of that set. And the winner is facial emotion recognition. Now, anyone who's seen this in action really can't be failed to be impressed with it. It's a really, really fantastic new market research tool for the industry, I think. Um, I saw Alistair Gordon's presentation at a recent SMR con Congress, and it was a really wowy sort of idea. It's, and it's something that it can be integrated into any form of online research, and I think you know it's, it's got great potential in the mobile arena as well. So I, I do think that it's a worthy winner of that award. Um, the next specific area is looking at 
ways we gather information and the polling processes and the sampling processes that are out there, because those have changed quite dramatically over the last year, or over the last you know, decade really, since the advent of the internet. And these are very obviously very specifically um, internet-based uh, sampling solutions. And I actually asked very, very uh, compared to the other questions, I asked the panel judges to pick out the one that they thought would have most impact in the future, not necessarily about the ones that have had impact so far. Um, and the winner for this were two, well, two strong things came out of this. Firstly, everyone's putting their bets on social media sourcing, having, well, you know, a big role to play in the way that we gather uh, our audiences for taking part in market research in the future. I don't think anyone would bet against that. The second area is in intelligent sample merging. Now we're having more and more sources of ways we can gather the data. Intelligent ways of blending all that information together, I think, have a very important role to play in the future. Um, so, the two awards. <coughs> Sec the next area is uh, qualitative research techniques. Now, uh, forgive me because this is not an, a great area of my expectations, and I did have to rely on some advice um, from um, some qualitative researchers, particularly Sabine Stork, uh, one of the judges from the think tank of a very innovative um, qualitative research uh, uh, company. And this is a short list. What I got the impression was there's actually quite a lot of smaller specific techniques um, that people are beginning to use in pining. It's a very innovative area of qualitative research right now, particularly with the advent of um, what you can do with an online arena. So this is just a, in a sense, it's a bit of a lopsided list, but um, it's, it's the, the ones that stood out from the crowd. Online focus groups, hybrid quality quant techniques, webcamming interview, which seems a very interesting area now. Um, focus group gameplay techniques, there's some interesting gaming techniques you can use now in, in, in focus groups. I'm in a sense they've been using them for years, but um, some of those techniques become more formalized now. And the, the use of NLP techniques, inspired techniques, I think there's another interesting area in online research that's uh, um, been quite innovative and uh, you know, changing way of people's basic approach to gathering this type of information. Almost hypnotic approach, approaches, I think, are emerging from some particular groups which look very interesting. Um, the winner for this is uh, hybrid quality quant techniques. Now, the lines between qualitative research and quantitative research are really rapidly blurring, and I think both qualitative researchers are using quantitative research methodologies and vice versa. As a quant researcher, I'm doing a lot more qualitative work within our qualitative, uh, I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied with the word quality. But uh, yeah, so I think that's a deserved win of this category. The next award is for the software that's had the most transformative impact on market research. Now this uh, list of nominees was drawn up from basically talking to various people, uh, um, some of the judges about the, the, the survey that they, the, the software that they felt that they used. Now again, there's a huge number of bits of software out there, and I don't know that this list has done justice to all the, all, all the, you know, the potential game-changing bits of software that are emerging out of um, some of the newer players, but this is the, the established players in a sense. Um, that I asked people to vote on. And the winner of this, and it was quite a close call, was Confirm It. Well then, Confirm It. Uh, I mean, as we've, uh, our company sort of, in a sense, competed against Confirm It uh, uh, for the last few years and, and lost. Um, so they're tremendous. I think the strength of Confirm It has been its flexibility and the, de the depth of programming features that give a, a lot of localized control to the end users. And I, I think that that open source idea is a really strong idea that you know I, I would herald anyone developing software to adopt. Uh, the, the second place, very close actually by one vote goes to SurveyMonkey. Uh, you know SurveyMonkey uh, it, it really has opened up online research to the people uh, and you know it's probably the one surveying platform that most people outside micro research are aware of so um, and you know, I, you know, it, it's grown massively over recent years, and so uh, you know, I, I think there's you know special clap for SurveyMonkey in the way it's proliferated market research outside the market research industry. Um, <clears throat> the next section is for uh, data presentation techniques. Uh, this is a short list, um, simply because I couldn't think of anything else to put on it. Uh, Wordle uh, gets a special mention. I, I don't think I've seen a I've been to a conference, I've been to a presentation without Wordle being used in some form or another over the last couple of years. 
dashboarding is being coming of a, a sort of very sophisticated techniques lots of dashboarding methodologies out there and um, you know the way that we're transferring information back to clients has been radically transformed by that technique the whole idea of storytelling has emerged as a sort of a basic big thematic concept and that's I think that's a very strong uh, contender and then there's infographics is the idea of visualizing data in, in a more sexy way so the winner of this category is storytelling um, I think the, it, it's a nice idea the concept that you can turn market research data into a story is a, is a wonderful idea that we can all latch on to and it gives us a, a, an approach to, 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 to improving the way that we present information I, I would uh, um, particularly point out if you're interested in, in this area go and download Roger Banks' Insights research um, paper from the, uh, from the SMR Congress their approach to this is very sort of I think really cutting edge they, they, they adopted this um, um, pyramid approach where you tell the headline first and then you you, may, you develop a moment of, 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 of drama and then you, you, you read it out with a rest of, with a nice storytelling approach I think that, that that's a really uh, really good example of how, how to embrace that that type of um, thinking uh, the next section the last of this section really is to um, Look at the organizational, who, who within the actual industry is driving forward the most transformation, in a sense. And the nominations are the offshoring businesses. I mean, they're on this list because who hasn't, you know, benefited from the degree of offshoring of uh, the back end of their business? Our, 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 the efficiency of our, of our industry has been radically transformed by the big offshoring industries out there. Um, then the second nominee is the, uh, the existing leading MR firms, which have transformed themselves, got stronger and bigger, consolidated over the last few years. Then there's the younger generation of market research firms that have emerged uh, uh, out of, out of, in a sense, the democratization of access to panels over the last decade. Um, and then we have new entrants coming in from outside of traditional MR, and, and, and uh, the, you know, there's, you know, the, the Facebooks of this world and so on. Uh, become, you know, new players that we need to think about. And outside of the, that, there's also the, the client side market research teams have evolved quite dramatically um, in, in recent years. They've got bigger, they've become more powerful, they've, they, they are working more directly, um, they're doing their own research, so that, that's a big area of growth as well. And they're, they're, they're making their own decisions about what they do now a bit more forcefully. And the winner goes to, well, it's a joint winner, actually. It was actually a, a tied vote. Um, the winner, first winner is the younger generation of MR firms. Now, who could deny the impact? And I'm not going to name names, but, you know, the, the, the conference after conference, we have these young market research firms that are really setting the agenda and shaking up the market research industry with these, their fresh ideas. So congratulations to all the smaller firms out there competing against the bigger firms. And... Um, um, the second joint winner, I think this is more of a, a viewpoint on the future, because I'm not quite sure whether new entrants from outside of traditional MR really have much impact yet, but the likes of IBM, for example, with the world where they're you know, thinking about analyzing information and using that to interpret decisions, it, it, it looks like a potential big new competitor for the market researchers, and I think that that point points to uh, everyone out there has got our, our eye on, on, on external parties moving into our area. I don't know if that's a negative thing. I think it just expands our, our industry in a sense. Um, now here we now move on to the main awards um, where I'm hoping that I can get some participation from uh, the attendees listening to me tonight. Um, the, the nominations for the methodologies and techniques that have had the most transformative impact on market research. There are 14 shortlisted nominees, um, which are research communities, co-creation, gamification, mobile phone research, behavioral economics, text analytics, social media monitoring, real-time research, infographics, neuro research, predictive market trading, online qualitative research, conjoint analysis, and virtual shopping. Now, this list was born up from um, a, a LinkedIn discussion I ran a couple of weeks back, and it, these were the most mentioned things, essentially. Um, what we did, because the voting process, we can only actually have five um, 
things in the public vote. We've whittled down the top five. So I, I don't know, Ray, can we switch over to the voting pane now to allow everyone to vote? And it's your turn to pick out uh, the technique um, that uh, has had the most transformative impact on market research. Unmuted. Okay. I'm quite sure what we're doing here. Right. Okay, John, I'm just looking for the poll. There we are. Select the poll. And launch. Right, these are the top five techniques that uh, came that the, 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 the our panel judges picked out as having. Uh, I, 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 may, I may add that I didn't ask them to pick the one that had the most transformative impact, but the one that they personally felt resonated most with them is slightly different question than the, the most, because otherwise you, everyone would pick, you know, effect, you know, one particular thing over another. It's more of an emotional connection you have with these techniques. So vote now got a few seconds to vote and then I will then reveal the results of what the experts thought and after that we'll reveal your vote and see whether uh, they're closely aligned. This is almost a test of the wisdom of the crowds. Right, let's say that 52% voting please. I'm sure we can get to 100%. This is supposed to be a market research conference after all. <laughs> I think that there might be a number of people that got the sound turned down and not... Uh, the like, the I, panel, the um, panel and... Can't vote. There's can't vote, so that's going to impact as okay. well. So the think, base yeah, that's a minute, that's 60%, good. so we'll just close that for the moment. In fact, so that you've all voted, that's good. So you should now be able to... Shall I move on to the next slide, John? Yeah, move on to the next slide, yeah. The winners that the experts of panel of judges picked out were the number one was research communities. Now, uh, research communities have really been a successful sort of story for market research over recent years, spawning a raft of successful new businesses and has completely re-engineered how many businesses are thinking about interacting with their customers. So well done, all those people working um, and developing research communities, you've changed the industry. Uh, the second prize is more, perhaps more of an emotional choice, the co-creation. Not necessarily a technique that has really you know, completely transformed the industry, but it's a technique that has it sparked people's imaginations. It's married marketeers and consumers together to re uh, revolutionize pro product development. And the way that people think about developing products is can be, be completely transformed by this process. So that's, uh, that's great. And the third prize goes to... Well, I'm slightly concerned that I'd bias the panel, actually, by um, uh, my, you know, uh, so, well, it, I'm, I'm very pleased to see it, on, or, or, nevertheless, it's gamification. And I think this is an idea that really has set the industry alight over the last year, uh, with a round of off, uh, possibility offers, not just to gathering data, but to how to communicate with customers and clients alike. So um, I'm very, very pleased to see that getting the third prize. So now... We'd like to, can we switch back to see the results of the, uh, 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 the team? Here we go. Well, mobile phone research wins. Now, I thought that, that might win, actually, because who would doubt, really, the, uh, the actual potential impact that mobile uh, phone research will have in future years? I'm sure that, that John, actually John, probably is a worthy winner. John, yes. me and Reg Baker, that's who would doubt it. Yes. <laughs> Research community second, that's great. And yeah, behavioral economics number three. Well, I think that that's a, I think behavioral economics as well. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a really sort of up and coming thoughtful uh, uh, area of research. And I think that, uh, yes, uh, there we go. So I'd say that, that it's a slightly different crown. It's very interesting to see the, the different perspective. I think that the, the other thing to point out is, is that we have a list of 14, this is a list of five. And so I think, for example, mobile research um, would have competed with some other categories. So that's perhaps why it didn't win the original award. So there we go. That's great. Well, I've got a couple more things to say on my slides. I also asked people what the, the general theme, well, let's move back. Um, the themes overall that were resonating most with them, and I came up with four things, which is listening rather than asking, the hidden decision-making processes of our brain, information can be beautiful, and big data. Big data I haven't mentioned so far, but that was been on everyone's lips, I think. Um, and I think that that is a big one for the future, big data. And then I asked one final question to, to get people to try and predict 
what might be next, the next big thing. Now, I honestly didn't get very much consensus out of this. I got uh, 30, 30 people to ask this question, and I got 30 different answers. So, but I picked out a couple. Um, one is predictive behaviors. Uh, uh, the idea that we're going to have a whole load of big data out there, which will enable us to actually stop up needing to ask questions so much as make predictions out of data and then use research to validate that, uh, those answers. And so moving away from, from um, asking questions to predicting and validating is a potential significant trend for the future. Another one I picked up purely because I liked it. I mean, there's a, bu a buzzwording sounding concept, identity economics, I'm going down. How are identities and the norms we expect to see within these identities shape con consumption patterns? Now, honestly, I'm not quite sure what that means, but it, it sounds impressive to me. Um, and the third one is 360 degree mobile research. Once we start paying for things via the mobile phone. The mobile phone is going to be the font of all knowledge. And if we can tap into that, there's going to be some amazing things that we're going to be able to do with a mobile phone where we actually cannot just ask people what they're going to do via a survey, but we can actually track what they end up buying all within the same platform. And I think that that sort of, I mean, I don't know, and there's loads of privacy issues about accessing that sort of information, but potentially, you know, that's going to be an explosive opportunity for the, for the industry in years to come. So the people that champion that, I think, are going to be on the ball. Well, that's it. Um, a rather rambling presentation. I, 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 um, I hope you enjoyed it and got some insight. I'm going to be publishing the full list of nominees and the results on my blog site, um, uh, if not later on this evening, tomorrow morning, and I'll, I'll, and I'll uh, send out a Twitter to announce that. Um, and well done to all the winners.